Our session is molecular imaging for immunotherapy and we're looking to share current ideas about how conventional imaging relates to immunotherapy and also imaging of the actual targets of immunotherapy and new tracers for that and also some looks at imaging cell therapies and possibly sort of the results or side effects of the immunotherapies themselves. I think the most interesting thing about immunotherapy right now is that there are several targets being explored for radio tracers because of the huge impact that the therapy itself is having on patient care. I believe that there's also a, a large need to find ways to image sort of the side effects and the downstream results of these therapies that currently aren't available to radiologists. Looking at the immune response itself to these antibody treatments by uh, other imaging therapies such as MR or CT, it may look like the tumor itself is growing where it could actually be the immune cells coming to the tumor to kill it. And so looking at those anatomical images really doesn't tell you the whole story. So I think we as nuclear medicine scientists have an opportunity to come up with ways to image these processes and aid the radiologists and the, and the oncologists in making better decisions of what to do next for these patients. We have a lot of people working on not only radio labeling the antibodies themselves, but finding ways to shorten the distribution time, uh, uptake time between injection and, and imaging, looking at smaller fragments of antibodies or even pre-targeting uh, where the antibody is injected without radioactivity allowed to do its, its uh, circulating and then the radioactivity comes later. So that's something definitely coming down the line. I also believe that there's an exciting possibility to help image some of these again, responses to the therapy itself. Does that cause infiltration of macrophages or other um, immune response to the tumor that we could tease out from the tumor growth itself? The more sensitive PET scanners that are coming out, the total body PET, we may be able to image these cellular therapies that have up until now been very difficult to see because of the small number of cells.